Ah, Southern Florida. Tropical waters, mystical shorelines, and around 20 protected sea creatures could only represent one park. Everglades. Wait a second. 1980. South Florida. 20 species. What? Okay, sorry, we're not talking about Everglades. Hang on to your seats, there's a new park in town. Biscayne. The start of the family that would become influential to the birth of the park began in 1892 when an African-American by the name of Israel Jones moved to Florida from North Carolina in search of work. Jones settled in Florida and moved to Biscayne Island, a part of the Florida Keys. In 1898, his two sons were born on Biscayne Key. After purchasing some of the islands surrounding Biscayne Key, Israel left the property to his sons, Arthur and Lancelot, and passed away in 1932. After several decades of fighting to keep the land from real estate brokers, the area was finally donated to the country and became a national monument in 1968. By 1980, the South Floridian Islands had been upgraded to a national park. Arthur left to pursue other passions, while Lancelot was allowed to spend the rest of his days in the park, passing away in 1997. What's interesting about Biscayne is that like Acadia National Park, you must take a ferry to access the park. The best way to experience Biscayne is not by foot, it's by water. The main islands that make up Biscayne are Elliott Key, Boca Chita Key, Totten Key, and Old Rhodes Key. Before diving into the keys themselves, make sure to check out the Dante Facel Visitor Center, which features artwork of the surrounding area. Boca Chita Key is the most visited area in the park, being home to the appropriately named Boca Chita Lighthouse, which has existed since the 1930s when a previous owner constructed the 65-foot tall building, which dominates the Boca Chita skyline. Besides the lighthouse, a small trail and campground are other features that can be found on Boca Chita Key. Elliot Key offers about the same experience as Boca Chita, however Elliot offers a larger playing field to explore the habitat of the Keys. Swimming, a mile hike, and fishing are just few of the offerings at Elliot. Totten Key and Old Rhodes Key don't have any civilized areas on them, but are great places to go snorkeling and scuba diving as many shipwrecks have been found here. Interesting history combined with a multitude of fun activities puts Biscayne National Park high on many people's bucket lists, so it's well worth the time to take a trip and check it out.